Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. I was in the yard and I thought, I've got three centre consoles for Yellowfin. And you know I love Yellowfin. Everyone who buys a Yellowfin loves them because of the ride construction. Now, what, what we've got here is the 5.8 rear console. A rear console, what's all that mean? Boats travel like this. Quintrex make a thing called a Territory Legend. If you ever go up north, it's all there is. Because you sit at the back, it absorbs the chop, you've got so much room at the front to fish. This thing comes with a 150 Yamaha, three seat pedestals, and have a look Dan, just get up the front there. You know, catch and releases. The thing at Brisbane Yamaha, every boat comes complete. The way that you should have it, when you drive out, you don't have to add all this stuff. The old thing is you get the wheels and the windows and everything you need, rego safety. You know, it's good to fish alone and a catch and release, even if I've got people. My wife comes up here and if she hadn't been drinking the Chardonnay, she's up the front and hooks it up. Bow mount thrusters, because most people now fish with a, a Minn Kota, and we're a Minn Kota superstore. You'll never buy cheaper, and our guys, I reckon about one in four boats have a Minn Kota on it, and that's why we're experts on it. Bait boards, burly buckets, self-training decks, Yamaha. It's actually got 130 on it, because that's what it's rated to. Awesome transom doors, look at that. Water's not gonna come over, you're backing up on a big fish. It's just solid, it's not one of these shitty little things you see. Big dive platforms, zip weights, just takes all the hassle out of driving. Ergonomics, yeah, no, that seat's not too high. We cut them down to suit the customer. Because when you're driving, you wanna be able to lean up there. I like to have my feet up, but then when it gets rough, sturdy, strong, Yamaha. You know, they make the best control boxes. They make the best gauges. Think about Yamaha gauges, you can see them with Polaroid glasses on. Awesome fit out, ergonomic, you can get to everything. Stainless steel rod holders, cup holders, bait boards that work, windows into live bait tanks that are huge. Up here, storage. Wonderful, wonderful storage compartments. Because I don't know about you, but when I go fishing, I take way too much stuff. The light in there, isn't that a just little thing, you know? Put a light in, up here, seat, huge big anchor well. I don't anchor, I just use a Minn Kota. But sometimes when I'm right out deep, 50, 80 metres, I will anchor, because it's easier. Get your feet under here to fish. This checker blade, you'll never fall. Good step, my kids sit on it. More storage, good side pockets. Tell you what, it's not a bad boat, is it? 190 litres of fuel. Now what we're going to do, scan over there because I've got another two Quintrek, another two yellow fin centre consoles that you should look at. And what we've got are the, well let's just face it, they are the two ultimate experts on yellow fin. Justin Kells and Peter Evans. I'm lucky to have them, they've been forever, I think I pay them too much. But what they're going to do is, they're going to run through the boats they've had, Justin's in a 7 metre, Pete's in the 6.2, different configurations. Let's go and have a look at those. We'll go to Justin. This one here is the seven metre. This is my personal favourite. So I've had the chance to do the walkthrough on this. This is how I would set up a yellow fin for myself. Obligatory bow thruster bracket on it. Everybody has a Minn Kota now. There's no substitute for the Minn Kota. It's still the brand name and it's still the benchmark. Massive casting deck on this one here with a huge amount of storage. So we've got plenty of room in here, full height casting deck, full storage. Got the custom T-top on there because if you fish without a bimini, you'll kill yourself. And if you have a bimini, you'll drive yourself nuts trying to fish with it. So come down this side here, Dan. This is the seven metre. So it's got the full six mil bottoms on it, four mil sides on it. This one here, we've also fitted up with zip wakes on there. So instead of just the standard QL trim tabs, this one's actually running with the full zip wakes on there. What that means is even if you can't drive a boat, you will look like a legend. I've left the electronics on it off at this stage just so that you can have a choice of it. It is a platinum pack, so it'll come with dual batteries on it. It comes with the full Baitmaster station. So we've also got room in there as well. Saltwater deck wash, live bait tank with the clear window. Apparently the bait like to be seen. And with this one here, we've also got the extra storage and the swing back seat. So this one has basically everything on there you need. We will just customise the electronics for you to your taste. 
If I had a choice though, I'd be going Garmin. I'm a Garmin man myself. We'll also be fitting a 200 fly-by-wire Yamaha on there, getting somewhere between 1.8 and 2 kilometres per litre. So with a 300 litre tank, it'll outfish you. You'll be tired long before you get home. Anything that can tow two and a half tonne will be fine with this one. This is a 6200 yellow fin. It's got the bow thruster plate. We're going to put an 80 pound bow mount on it. It can go to the 112 pound. This has a large casting deck as well. And of course you've got the storage under the front of it. Steps up, folding T-top, folding T-top around to the back. All of the yellow fins come with the hydraulic steering, of course. This one we've got fitted up with the uh, fish mate tackle board with all the trays. Live bait tank, dual batteries, deck wash. We've got the works on this. You've got your, your trim tabs just here. You've got the catch and release up in the front of it. Alloy trailer, of course, with all the till water products. And this is it. This is the fishing weapon. It's got a, uh, we're going to fit it up with a 150 Yamaha. It is rated to 175, but the 150 pushes them along nicely. We ordered this boat without a, a seat behind the console here. Everybody has their own choice. Some like a, an esky seat box. We're going to actually get a, a relax um, seat in here so you can slide the esky in underneath it. We're going to fit it up with the Garmin 12-inch um, GPS sounder and she'll be ready for the water.